Hey, 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 if you're with me, you're with Julie. That's me, the Julie Show. And it goes nowhere in the Midwest except hospitals and doctors. This one is going out to all of you that think that I'm just a phony and I come on here and I'm acting like I have tremors or I tell you that I'm sick, I'm disabled, and you don't believe me, but um, does that tell you anything? See my IVs? Can't leave the hospital until my IVs run through my system. I have a severe kidney infection. Your prayers will help. I did want to come on here and let you guys all know that because I haven't been making videos. It's because I haven't been feeling good. And I finally went to the hospital, went to the ER yesterday. And because I had chest pains, they got me in right away. And they realized that it wasn't my heart. It's um, my kidneys are infected really bad. So I should have went to the doctor right after I got home from vacation. And I didn't, don't mind my hair. I took a shower here at the hospital. The most I could do is brush my hair with the combs I provide because my husband forgot my brush. He did good bringing my stuff up though. Um, be honest when you go to the hospital. Just let these people know what you're on. I mean, I'm dying in pain because I'm on THC. It's obvious they're not going to give me THC. And this hospital's in the state of Kansas. It's not even legal. Uh, my husband said he would bring me up a gummy, but I don't think that's going to help. But I am in really bad pain in my rib. They said this is a kidney infection. Why is my rib hurt so bad? And the most they can give me is Tylenol because I think they checked my blood and saw I had THC. And it's against the law to be on an opioid and THC at the same time. I hope that freaking shit gets out of my system soon because I'm going to need pain meds. I can't do this. It's not going out of my system anytime soon because I vape it. I just got done telling my husband I don't think I'm going to be vaping anymore because... This is really affecting my lungs, and I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I came in here yesterday, uh, last night. I, I'm not getting out of here until Tuesday. It's only Sunday. Nobody's been there to visit me except my husband drop off stuff, and that was it. I don't have many friends, and my family's all out of state, so they're not going to come see me over this. Even though your kidneys really run your life, if you lose your kidneys, you die. If something goes really wrong with my kidneys again, I might need a transplant or something. I don't know. This is the second major kidney problem I've had. I really do think lupus is taking over. Maybe it is lupus flare up. I don't know. This red thing got to go away. But I'm just proving to you all. I don't come on here all pretty every time saying, Oh, do your makeup. Some days you just can't do it. I didn't have my husband bring up any of my face care. I put regular lotion on my face in the shower just so it wouldn't be so like dry. I'm not gonna get all fixed up to be in the hospital. Maybe yes, maybe tomorrow if I'm bored I'll ask him to bring some makeup, but I don't want him doing he won't know what to bring. Anyways, I'm just letting you guys know I'm in the hospital and I'm still around. You can always text me or get on here and reply. Um, I appreciate any prayer. I wanna get out of here sooner than later. Um I end up having to stay past Tuesday and I'd be really upset and pray that my pain goes away on my right side. I just took a couple of muscular boxes that I have. Hopefully I'll pass out soon. He's still boring in the hospital. All right, be blessed till next time.